And so when you showed me the Urban 88 bucket barrow, I was very intrigued. Because this particular wheelbarrow has actually got a very low center of gravity. Yeah, I think it's a really nice little wheelbarrow. It keeps you nice and organized. Yeah, and the wheel's really wide, which makes it good for slippy and muddy ground. When it comes to gardening, I'm very much team wheelbarrow, you're team tipping cart. Mm -hmm. Our garden, however, is actually quite steep. So when you load up that tipping cart and you take it down the hill, it gets heavy, it gets unstable. And it gets fast. And it gets really fast <laughs> and a bit uncontrollable, to be honest. Yeah, it does. By using the wheelbarrow, that gives you a lot more control. The problem with wheelbarrows is because they're scooped out, when you put stuff into them, everything comes to the middle. When you're actually walking down the hill, everything falls to the front and bashes into each other. Mm. So I was actually really excited when we got the Urban 88 Bucket Barrow. I like to keep things very organized when I garden and I think that that's what really appeals to me about using my tipper card is that it's a flat surface and then basically I just use buckets. So we have an incredible amount of buckets in our house. We just have bought kind of bulk stacks of buckets. And I go to the shed and I basically create a bucket per thing that I'm gonna do. So for example, I have a bucket and then I put all my hand tools in there and all my gardening gloves. And then I have a bucket that for example, would have my fertilizer in. Then I might have another bucket that's got, for example, string and scissors and things if I'm gonna be tying stuff up. So I keep it all very, very separated. And then I put that into my tipping cart. And then hopefully when I get to my destination, I can just immediately access what I need really, really quickly and put it back in and not lose things around the garden. And so when you showed me the Urban 88 bucket barrow, I was very intrigued because it's basically what I do every single time I go out uh -huh. to the garden, but with my tipper cart. It is a very valid point that when you do go down our slope because it is so steep yeah i have kind of got my own kind of technique oh, yeah. for pushing <laughs> the tipper cart behind me and kind of stopping it from rolling forward and then it's basically me that's kind of slowing down the tipper cart but it does take a bit of skill and it's not <laughs> for everybody and it is a bit treacherous and miles finds it really tricky and i've got to say even when it's wet or slippy then i find it really yeah. difficult so with the wheelbarrow at least we've got more far more control control of actually holding the handles and kind of going to go down yeah. with the slope. So I kind of like that a lot. It's actually a great point because this particular wheelbarrow has actually got a very low center of gravity. So when you're actually taking it down the hill on a steep decline, it doesn't wobble. You've got full control over it. And we actually have an area where we're going to the compost heap. It gets really bumpy and very uneven, but because you can kind of move around with the actual wheelbarrow itself, it constantly stays very close to the ground mm, and you never stable. feel like you're going to lose control. I find it very helpful down at the vegetable garden too because when I'm actually harvesting vegetables I can put potatoes in one, tomatoes in another. Mm. Then they slot nicely into the wheelbarrow and when I actually push it up the hill nothing falls, nothing crashes into each other yeah. and everything remains undamaged. And it almost acts as a water butt. We left ours out in the driveway the other day when we knew we were going to have a really heavy rain shower and it came through and each bucket is 15 litres and when we went out each bucket was fairly full it was like there was quite a bit of water in there so it was really also great to be able to then use those buckets to just go around all of our little plant pots and just use that water for watering the plants I thought it was really good as well mm -hmm. the wheelbarrow arrives flat packed and we have received gardening tools in the pots that have been flat packed and they're an absolute nightmare to put together <laughs> What I really liked about this particular wheelbarrow is that the instructions were clear. They give you all the tools, all the bolts, all the nuts, everything's in the actual pack itself. And it took us about half an hour to assemble, but it was really easy to follow the instructions. And once it is built, it actually feels really well made. Mm -hmm. The legs are actually powder coated. The wheel is puncture proof, which honestly is a must for any wheelbarrow in my opinion. And it just felt really sturdy and strong. And I really like the, the handlebars where you grip your hands. The, the rubber that they've used there was actually really easy to grip and even when your hands were wet it actually you still had a good grip on the bar handles so I really appreciated that. Yeah and the wheel's really wide which makes it good for slippy and muddy ground. Yeah I think it's a really nice little wheelbarrow it keeps you nice and organized and perfect for those DIY projects or gardening jobs. So I hope that you have found this video useful and interesting if you did as always please give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button below and we'll see you in our next video thanks for watching. Bye!